What's up everybody, I am back with another YouTube video, and if you're new here, my name is John, I am a washed up TikTok star who only used to be kind of famous because of his twin brother, but now I make videos on YouTube about health, fitness, and just overall healthy lifestyle tips to improve self-confidence, and so if that kind of stuff interests you, definitely like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. So before I get into the first tip and start this video, I just want to mention that this is a part two. So in this video, I'll be giving three more tips on how to prolong and improve your skincare products to save money. But if you have not checked out my original video on this topic, then I definitely recommend you go check that. <coughs> ah, beauty. But if you haven't seen my original video on this topic, then I definitely recommend you go check that one out after you're done watching this video, because in that video, I explain how I save over $600 per year on my adjusted skincare routine. And the $600 per year savings was just a simple swapping of products. I stopped using a bougie and expensive moisturizing product and switched to a more cheaper but still quality moisturizer product. And that alone was saving me $600 per year. And that's not even accounting for the other tips. So if you just do that one simple swap and follow the rest of the tips within that video, along with the additional tips I'm about to give in this video, those money saving tips will only contribute to that already $600 savings per year principle and so if you follow along with everything that I discussed there's no reason why you shouldn't easily be saving over $600 per year just like I'm doing if not more and definitely go check that video out once you're done watching this if you haven't done so already it's my most recent video I uploaded before this one but I will also link it in the description below alright so jumping straight into the video the first tip on how to save money by improving and prolonging your skincare products part 2 is to stop using excessive amounts of your skincare products. I for one used to be a victim of this tip because like the majority of people out there, I used to think that the more product you use, the better it is for your skin. I used to think that the more product I would use, the more effective it'll be, and that somehow it'll improve my skin at a much faster rate than normal. And although that does sound logical at first, that's actually not the case, and you'll actually be doing more harm than good and also be draining your wallet. Now I say that this will do more harm than good because when you use excessive amounts of product, you increase the risk of irritating your skin, especially on your face. For example, we use facial cleansers at the end of every day to wash off all the dirt that's built up on our face throughout that day, but to a degree, all facial cleansers will strip your moisture barrier. So the degree of stripping depends on which type of facial cleanser you buy. Facial cleansers for dry skin types tend to be more gentle and less stripping than cleansers for oily skin, but regardless, they both do strip the moisture barrier. Now that we have that in mind, a facial cleanser generally maybe takes one or two pumps, maybe three pumps to wash your entire face. But let's say you're using five or six pumps just to wash your face. Now that is excessive amounts of product that you're using and you're just setting up your skin for irritation because you're disrupting and damaging your moisture barrier. When it comes to skincare products, you just have to remember that less is more and we should only be using pea size amounts especially when it comes to using retinols, exfoliants, or other products that have really high concentrations of active ingredients. That's also a reason why I love to use skincare products with pumps on them, because with a pump, it allows you to kind of measure and keep track of how much product you're actually using. When it comes to using a little more product than you actually should, the only exception is with sunscreen. It's recommended that you apply sunscreen to your skin every day with a minimum protection of SPF of 30. There's actually a study out there that shows the majority of people who apply sunscreen to their skin every day with products that have the minimum SPF of 30 protection. They don't actually receive that full SPF 30 because they're actually using too little product. My guess is that people tend to use less and inadequate amounts of sunscreen out of fear of possibly getting a white cast on their face. But of course by doing that, that comes with the risk of not actually obtaining that full minimum SPF 30 protection. And if that's the case for you, then I recommend finding a moisturizer with SPF of 30 or higher protection that is tinted. If you don't know, tinted moisturizers with SPF protection are not your standard heavy white cast sunscreens. Unlike sunscreens that are all colored white, Tinted moisturizers with SPF protection are of course tinted, so depending on which skin tone color you have, as long as you buy a product with a similar shade, you can apply as much amount of product on your face without having to worry about a white cast and still getting that full SPF protection. No matter what route you choose to take to protect your skin from the sun, whether it's using a tinted moisturizer with SPF or a standard sunscreen, just as long as you always remember to apply SPF protection to your skin every day because too much sun exposure can of course cause sun damage like sunburn, it can accelerate aging by producing fine lines and wrinkles, 
and also cause skin cancer. So the conclusion of this tip is to stop using excessive amounts of product thinking that is better for your skin because it actually does more detriment to your skin and to your wallet. But the only exception is with sunscreen because you always need to be getting the full SPF protection every day. Moving on to my next tip, tip number two is to familiarize yourself with your skincare products. The reason why you want to familiarize yourself with your skincare products is because the majority of people out there are probably doubling up on some of the ingredients that they're using without realizing it and it's costing them a lot of money. Just to give an example, I know hyaluronic acid is a very popular ingredient within the skincare world and it's already included in most moisturizers out there. But if you're buying a separate hyaluronic acid serum in a bottle that's like this big that costs 30 to 40 bucks, that's honestly just like tossing money out the window since it's already included inside your moisturizer. So just do a quick skim through of the ingredients list on your products and be sure to cut out any of the serums that you've been using that are already listed as an ingredient in your products. But if your product doesn't have that ingredient included, just do a quick search online and try to find a product that actually has that specific ingredient or ingredients that you're looking for so that you can eliminate that separate serum and to minimize and save money. However, I do exclude facial cleansers from this tip because they're only on your face for about one to two minutes until they get washed off. For example, if you find a facial cleanser with niacinamide in it, then I guess it's okay to buy a separate niacinamide serum for that since it's going to be washed off almost immediately. But even then, I would still recommend you find a moisturizer or another type of leave-on product that has niacinamide included because it will be a lot cheaper than buying the separate niacinamide serum. Now my next and last tip is to store your skincare products in a skincare fridge. Now when I say skincare fridge, uh, it doesn't have to be a specific mini fridge just for your skincare products. You can also just store it in your regular fridge as well. I personally don't follow this tip myself, but there has been studies that claim that it can extend the shelf life of your product and also improve soothing benefits, especially when applying to sensitive skin. However, you should use caution when using this tip because not all skincare products are recommended to be stored in skincare fridges. Like I said earlier, I personally don't follow this tip myself, so I'm not well educated on which skincare products can or can't be refrigerated. But there are plenty of articles online that distinguish those differences for you, and so if you are interested in this tip, then definitely go check those out. Also, just another warning you wanna take into consideration if you are interested in using a skincare mini fridge, is that it can compromise the texture of your skincare product and make applying to your skin a little bit more harder as it cools from a light creamy texture to a lumpy and chunky texture. All right, so that's all I had for this video. Those were three more tips on how to save money by improving and prolonging your skincare products. Remember to go and check out the first part of this video. I'll link it in the description below if you haven't seen it already. I hope you liked this video. Definitely like and subscribe for more videos about healthy lifestyle tips to improve self-confidence. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.